As the blades of our wearing blender spin through liquefied food, forces other than cutting are responsible for most of the work of blending. A powerful shearing force drives circulation by sucking liquid down from the top of the pitcher and then violently flinging it out to the sides. Here, as oil tries to slip past the fast-moving blades, the turbulence literally rips it into minuscule droplets that are dispersed into the surrounding liquid to create a rich, smooth emulsion. A remarkable amount of engineering effort goes into the design of the blades and pitcher to maximize this force. Those of you watching this video closely might notice another oddity. As the blades begin to spin, an uncountable number of bubbles stream from the tips and trailing edges of the blades. This is the telltale sign of cavitation. These bubbles are tiny holes ripped into the surrounding fluid. Cavitation might seem benign, but when these bubbles collapse, a powerful shockwave reverberates through the liquid that breaks apart surrounding bits of food. Indeed, cavitation is powerful enough to shatter glass. Quickly smacking the top of this glass bottle, for example, creates a brief moment where a few cavitation bubbles appear within the water. When these bubbles pop, the resulting shockwave propagates through the water to the surrounding glass bottle, shattering it instantly. Although it's too fleeting for the eye to see, this same phenomenon is occurring every time you flip the switch on your wearing blender. The impact of these shockwaves is immense and breaks surrounding particles of food into incredibly small pieces. This is the unseen force that a blender uses to cut foods down to size. Most of us use a blender without giving thought to how they do the job of cutting food down to size. Like most people, you might assume that the fast spinning blades cut the food directly, but blenders have a secret. Cutting is only important for the first stage of blending. Once the bits of food become small and begin to flow, unseen forces come into play. Truly powerful blenders, like this Waring Extreme, generate hydrodynamic forces that impart the energy needed to turn even the toughest food silky smooth. As the blade sweeps through the fluid at the bottom of a blender, intense shearing forces literally rip particles of food apart. But it's the seemingly benign implosion of bubbles that is truly violent. These forces are normally all but invisible, but using our high-speed camera, we can slow time and let you see how blending really works. Initially, the impact of the blades cuts the food directly. This is important because for a blender to work, pieces of food must be small enough to start to flow under the stirring action of the blades. Does it flow is the answer to the question, will it blend? A commercial grade blender, like our wearing, has enough power that the impact of its blades can shatter some tough stuff, such as handfuls of whole spices like cinnamon stick, cloves, star anise, and peppercorns into a fine powder. Even a fistful of golf balls can be quickly cut into bits, but at some point, the pieces don't become any smaller for two reasons. As they shrink in size, the chance that the blades will hit them decreases. They've simply become too small a target. The second reason is more fundamental. As the pieces become smaller, it takes exponentially more kinetic energy to break them smaller still. At some point, the blade simply cannot hit the food hard enough. In the next video, we'll explore the hidden forces that do the real work of blending food smooth.